All right, hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Around the Fire. Today we are going to do a five cool or great fun sounding guns that we have coming out here in 2020. Um, we've got a couple of these videos coming up. We're just going to split them up into five at a time. That way they are not so ridiculously long and boring. So here we go. Okay, starting us off, we got the Kiapa CBR9 Black Rhino. Um, another offering from Kiapa in the very popular now pistol caliber carbine uh, area. They're calling this one a PDW, personal defense weapon. You can see it's got a telescoping rear end and the telescoping rear end kind of comes down on an angle to kind of give you a better uh, eye relief along the rail. So you could go with like a lower profile red dot and stuff like that. Kind of interesting, kind of different. You know, it's neat to see different things. It's got the folding charging handle. Um, it's got this pop-up uh, brace in front, you know, um, vertical foregrip, which I'm kind of wondering if that's really going to come to market like that, even though they seem to be out there now. But uh, that, I feel like it's going to drop you in the SBR category. But yeah, they say it's an original project with many patents. So I'd like to hear an explanation on that. I know one of the patents is their proprietary magazine, which isn't exactly something we're all going to love, having to buy a bunch of new mags. It is just a blowback operated firearm, but supposedly with a lighter weight bolt and a reciprocating mass, it's supposed to be like a you know, bigger deal. Um, you can see here, it's got its own interesting uh, relieved barrel that goes into the muzzle brake to make a very effective flash suppressor. Um, you can see with the body, the polymer there, you wouldn't necessarily probably be able to thread on a suppressor there, but that could have been interesting inside of a suppressor. The way that is if they had extended that whole bit out there a few more inches but really all overall a very interesting firearm uh, i have not seen something like this from kiapa and i would honestly probably pick them up if it wasn't for the insane msrp of 1969 dollars that being said i have seen them on sale now for around 1400 but they're all sold out everywhere and or just not available or those are some sort of pre-order. I can't really confirm any of that at this point as, you know, the research I've done for this has been fairly minimal um, because mostly at that price point, I think it's really neat looking. But as you can see, it broken down here on the table. Anybody that's got like a, a Mac 10 or a Mac 10 type clone, this operating system looks fairly similar. Now, mind you, it could be a lot different. I could be wrong. Don't have one in my hands, but it's things are just kind of looking a little familiar there to me. But tell me what you think down below. Would you guys want to purchase one of these? Would you guys pay two grand? Let me know. Okay, and now coming in from ATI. We got the Galeo pistol. Now, forgive me here. This photo is of a Galil. The Galeo pistol, very similar, slightly shorter barrel, and instead it'll have some sort of like CAC type brace on it. Um, I just couldn't find a photo that didn't have Atlantic firearms smeared all over it, so this is what we ended up with, so forgive me. Uh, it's a really neat gun in my opinion. Um, I just hope it's not junk. I've never been the biggest fan of ATI, but this one is supposed to be made with genuine parts kits, a US stamped receiver. Um, enough parts to make it U.S. compliant, um, but it's going to give you AK guys. You know, I love AK too, so us AK guys. Um, the opportunity to run a Galil in a pistol format, you know, something you don't really see very often. Um, so it's a very cool AK alternative, and um, I'm not sure. I can't confirm. I, I did try and do some Googling, searching it out. I can't confirm that it has cast trunnions or cast bolt carrier or anything like that. I really don't know. It says genuine parts. I don't know if those are the genuine parts or not. Um, the information just doesn't seem to be there at the moment. But they are available now. The MSRP is around $1299.95. Well, not around, but that's what it is. But, so we'll probably see them for around $1,000. Um, now for a nice built AK pistol, 1000 bucks is fair. I'd mess with that. What do you guys think? Let me know below. All right, and keeping with the AK theme, we got number three here, the KAR-103. So this is an offering from Kalashnikov. Um, it's basically an AK-103, which is like one of the last rifles Kalashnikov ever really 
had hands on with. Um, it's going to take all your AKM and AK-74 furniture, which is pretty cool. Um, it's going to have your side optics rail. Uh, it's going to be 760 by 39. It's not going to be a AK-74. So it's not going to be uh, the 545 by 39. Oh, is that right? Oh, man, somebody's going to get me for that one. But um, it's got forged trunnions. It's got a chrome lined and threaded barrel and the MSRP is around $1,050. So being that it's Kalashnikov, um, you know, people are probably going to charge pretty top end for that. So you'll probably see it around there. But if you see a good sale on them, you might see them come in for a few less bucks than that. And for sub $1,000 to own an actual Kalashnikov rifle, I think that is pretty fucking awesome. One of these will probably be joining our collection one of these days. And it's definitely a piece that you could either safe clean and collect or just shoot the ever love and snot out of and have a ton of fun with. But either way, it's a good deal no matter what, in my opinion. Tell me what you think below. All right, guys. Coming in at number four, we got some stuff from Palmetto now. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, Palmetto, come on. But I love Palmetto, man. I think Palmetto is one of those great companies that's doing some really nice stuff, you know, on a really, uh, you know, modern American man's budget. And this is definitely one of them, the PSA-5. So they've done years of testing on this thing. They've really been working out all the kinks on it. They're doing a lot of stuff, um, acquiring new companies and working with new companies to keep everything in-house. Um, Magpul is going to do the lower, well, what we'd call the lower, I guess, if you're thinking like AR-15 terms, because they're a little bit different on these types of guns. But um, they're doing all the plastic furniture, fore-end, and et cetera. It's got a welded upper rail. They did something a little different with the sights. They went like an AR-15-ish style front pin sight and changed the windage and elevation around. So it's, it's kind of interesting. Um, you're going to get your AS, or, or your SBR, or I'm sorry, SB braces from SB Tactical with this. Um, and all at a MSRP, uh, they're shooting for below 1200 bucks. So for, you know, an MP5 clone, um, Usually, you know, you're looking at around at least $1,600 with like Zenith and things like that if you want to get something of decent quality. Um, these are going to be available in 2020. I think they said they were shooting for like third quarter of 2020. Um, you know, hopefully, maybe sooner, who knows. But either way, man, wow. You know, what a really cool gun that, you know, I'm sure they know they have to come to market with this one and hit it and hit it well. And I'm sure they will. This thing is cool. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys going to pick one up and slap it till the cows come home or what? Just let me know below. All right, guys. So keeping up with the theme here in 2020, apparently, we got another AK platform rifle, the AKE from Palmetto. Cold Hammer Forge Chrome Molly Vanadium Steel Barrel that is chrome lined from FN, manufactured by FN. Very nice barrel. It's got a forged trunnion, a forged bolt, a forged carrier, uh, it's going to have your side mount rail. Uh, it's going to be 762 by 39 and it's going to support your traditional Magpul furniture. Um, they're looking for an MSRP at the launch of this one for around $799, uh, depending upon, of course, you know, furniture variants, you know, as Palmetto usually does, you'll probably have something in this fashion. That'll be the basic. You'll have some with some cool woods, which is nice for you guys that love the classics. Me personally, I always like my fun rails and stuff, so I'll probably go for the version that has, you know, all the Picatinny on it so I can, you know, mall ninja my way out of here. But uh, these are, according to their website, out now, but sold out. So I don't know if that means they are actually out now or we're still waiting on them or maybe there was a first batch that was out now and got into some people's hands. I don't know. Somebody tell me below. Tell me what's going on. Tell me how great they are or how bad, or how bad they suck. Um, you guys want one of these? I think I do because for, again, you know, under 800 bucks, well under 1000 for a really, really sweet AK. Can't beat that. Surprise, there's actually six guns. That or I can't count right. But all right, we got another one from Palmetto. This is the last one for the night. This is the PS9 Dagger. So I have never owned an actual Glock, I'm be honest with you guys. Just never bought one, never had interest in it. Don't know why, nothing against them, just never really wanted to get one. I have, however, had many Glock clones, as most pistols sort of are nowadays. 
But this thing here is really, really interesting. Obviously, it's a Glock clone. Uh, many parts will be interchangeable with the Gen 3 model Glocks. It's going to come with metal three-dot sights instead of plastic ones. It's going to have your Picatinny rail. Uh, let's see, it's going to have a nice cocking serrations, stainless steel guide rod, which I think is such a big deal today with these pistols, man. My wife just got this MF, uh, uh, FMK, dude, and it's got the polymer, you know, guide rail with the spring on there. And I feel like that's part of the binding problem is just not enough smooth sliding action there. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it's got an undercut trigger guard, which is nice. That's a good looking trigger guard. I like that. I like the, the way that grip looks there. Um, traditional rifling, so you're supposed to be good with lead bullets, unlike, you know, your Glocks and stuff like that. It's going to have a 15 plus 1 capacity and all for an MSR of under 299. Or 299 is what they're shooting for for um, the base model. Now, this one you see here, like an RMR ready version, will be 349. But still, guys, that's fucking bananas money. 349 for an RMR ready version with suppressor uh, height sights already equipped and you know like i'm not even mentioning all the great stuff i'm going to try to now if you look in the picture there's like the little cutaways on the bottom of the mag well so you can strip the mag out if you need to there's just all these cool little things that they've thought of and like you know listened to that are in the aftermarket and they, you know they're going to have all sorts of fun things for you but these are coming in march 2020 which is real soon here so keep an eye out for these guys because i think these if they work right and run good they are going to be killing it killing it that's even cheaper than like the uh, polymer 80 glocks and stuff you could do yourself now and this thing is just a you know great place to start so tell me what you think would you guys pick one of these up or are you gonna just you know stick to the old-fashioned i'm gonna buy a glock and build it from there let me know all right i know i said there was gonna be five and then i did six but now i'm gonna just do an honorable mention in case you guys have never seen this monstrosity of American engineering and firepower before, this is a Gilboa. Now, the Gilboa was a double-barreled AR-15 pattern rifle. They are now releasing a 22 long rifle variant, and it's going to just get my honorable mention because I will never, ever, ever probably buy one of these. I think they retail for around three or four thousand dollars. And I can't imagine that the 22 long rifle variant would come in too much less than that, considering all the insane engineering and parts and just everything that has to go into one of these crazy things. But wow, what a weird, cool, strange, totally unnecessary, but God damn it, why not American piece of engineering right there. So good on you guys. That's my honorable mention. What do you think, guys? Let me know below. Would you uh, piggy bank your way to this? Is this going in your bucket list? You know, 223-556 or 22 version? Tell me. Sound off. All right, guys. Till next time, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Have a good one and be safe.